Hey, 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 what is up? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, I'm your host, DZ, the Crochet Lady. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm super glad that you came to visit. What we're looking at today is Tunisian Pearl Stitch. I'm not going to get into any finishing details, just simply how to do the pearl stitch. So go ahead and grab your hook and your yarn. For this tutorial, we're going to use a chain of 10. To make Tunisian Pearl Stitch with your hook, bring your yarn forward. Insert your hook underneath the front vertical bar just like this. Bring your working yarn around like so. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And that's the Tunisian Pearl Stitch. Let's do it a couple more times. You may need to apply a little bit of pressure with your thumb at the base of the stitch. Once you get the hang of it though, depending on the yarn, hook size, and tension, you may be able to omit that step. And just let the stitches form themselves. The tension from the next row generally will straighten up your stitches. See you right over here. So we're just going to follow through with a normal close. We're going to make a Tunisian simple stitch in the end loops. Chain one. Yarn over and pull through two loops. To the beginning of your row. To make continuous rows of purl stitch, just follow the same method for each row. Alright you guys, I hope that this helped you learn purl stitch and add a little bit more knowledge to your Tunisian crochet dictionary. Alright, I'll see you guys in the near future. Chit chat with you soon. Peace out.